Hello, welcome back to my Let's Play Thomcraft 2015 tutorial series. So, I told you last time that I was going to go mining to get some more resources because I wanted to make an aqueous accumulator. I wanted one so that we could attach it to the igneous extruder and I wouldn't have to keep filling it with water whenever I wanted to make obsidian. So, I have the materials ready to build the aqueous accumulator. It's pretty simple. Needs a bucket, two pieces of glass, copper gears, a pneumatic servo, and a machine frame. There we go, an aqueous accumulator. And we are going to fall in the hole. Alright, get out of the hole. So this is an infinite water source right here. I'll just dig down to show you. I just put two blocks of water there, just like all the other infinite water sources. If you put an aqueous accumulator between the two, it will pull in water and pretty much just pull it up all the time. So it generates plenty of water for most things. All right, and I'm going to put this hardened fluid duct right here, and it's already on orange for the output side. And then I will put my cobblestone back here, and I'll put my igneous extruder. And I can take input from the bottom. Input from the top will still output to the right, and I'll use this chest that I made. And there we go. I don't have any way to feed it lava right now, but I do have a way to feed it water. I'll never have to refill the water switch. And if I wanted, I could set up a switch, maybe a lever right here or right here. Probably not right there, but I don't think a lever will interfere with the furnace generator, so I might make one of those. In fact, eh, not important. Alright, so there we go, the igneous extruder, so I can go get my lava tank back. Where is my lava tank? Probably in here. Yep. And it's probably in input mode right now. Let's see here. I've got this enabled to high. That's what I want, so it won't do anything at the moment. And of course, my tools are upstairs. I redid the upstairs just a little bit. So, all my junk is over here next to the trash can. And I'm calling anything from Britannia or witchery junk, basically. I've got these flowers over here to put in the deconstruction table, so they're still going. Alright, I'm going to go figure out what else we're going to do in this episode, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think it's time that we made a better wand, and the next real upgrade to your wand is a great wood wand core, and a great wood wand. And instead of using iron caps, we're going to use gold caps. So the wooden wand or the wooden wand core can only store 25 V of each aspect. The great wood wand core can store 50 V, so twice as much. The iron caps are what get us that 10% penalty. Gold caps have no penalty. So that's what we're going to do right now. I've already solved both research notes, so this is the one for the gold wand caps. Metallum has Terra, which is in both Vitreus and Victus. Vitreus has Ordo, and Ordo is in, in, in Instrumentum. Victus has is in Famus, and Famus is in Lucrum. So there we go, the gold wand caps, the Greatwood wand core, Tellum is an instrumentum, Ignis is in Tellum, Ignis is in Potentia, Potentia is in Precantatio. Ignis is in Lux, Lux is in Air, Air is in Arbor. Alright. So, opening back up our Thaumonomicon, we can now figure out how to make these things. So, we needed some great wood logs, which I had to go find, and I'll give us a great wood log. And it's an arcane workbench recipe requiring, it looks like, three Perdicio. 
I noticed in my last video, it's much clearer in the video than it is on my screen, that number. I can barely read that here, but it seems clear on the video, so that's nice. All right. And the gold wand caps require some Ordo, some Ignis, and some Air, and we need gold nuggets for that. So let me go get the Greatwood Wogs and the gold nuggets. I've got two gold nuggets. Let's see, how many did we need? We'll need ten, so... Alright. I found a lot of good stuff on my on my trip, though, looking for great wood logs, though. Found some angelo seeds that made me very happy. Alright, so, my wand is fully charged. Let's make the core. Great wood logs and 3.3V. All right. Huh. I took the wrong wand. <laughs> I was like, what happened there? All right, there we go. Great wood rod and get my thermometer so I can scan that. All right. And then we want our wand caps. Two gold caps. And I did that again. I still want that in there. Now, unlike the iron-capped wooden wand, all your future wands must be crafted in the arcane work table. So I hope I have enough V to do that. If not, I'll have to go figure something out. Okay, looks like it needs 10V, sorry, 9V of each kind. And there we go, a greatwood banded, sorry, a gold banded greatwood wand. And we'll scan that too. There we go, a better wand. So, it not only has double the amount of V storage and no penalty for arcane work table recipes, but it also works with node preserver. So if I go and find some nodes, I will not be able to drain them to the point of potentially destroying or damaging a node. So let me get some food and we'll run back over to that node in town and I will show you that I cannot damage this node over here. Got the two nodes. Ooh, lots of squid. That's good. I need need uh, ink sacks. A handy mod is Morph, which will let us turn into a squid, and then we can go attack them, and I won't have to drown, so that's a little bit nice for that. I don't use Morph too often. I feel it's a little bit overpowered, but... Alright, so where is my node? Ah, right there. Alright, so this has some amount of air, ordo, and earth. But it doesn't appear to have 50 of any of that, so... If I right click and drain this wand, and you can, sorry, drain the node, you can see the particle effects, it's charging up, and now we're done. But it has one of each aspect left in it. It works with Node Preserver. And it should be the same thing. I keep it in Q, not W. Let's go over here to... That sinister note I found. If I remember where it is. And of course I do not. I think it's over here. Alright, there it is. Alright, so it's got fire and some more air. 17 fire, but it will have one in the end. There you go, one of each, and you can't put Tenebrae in a wand. So, there you go. Node Preserver works, and we've got a wand which is you know, much more charged than, or much more chargeable than our iron wand will be. And if there are some monsters to spawn, I will show you 
the orbs that you get when you fight mobs. Let's see here. There claims to be a zombie over here. Yeah, here are some zombies. So. Those are the aspect orbs. They just kind of draw right into your wand. And that will charge your wand. So I didn't have any Perdicio, but now I've got a couple. So that's how you can also charge your wand by fighting mobs, which is generally something I do a lot in the early game, especially if I haven't found any uh, nodes, or at least not enough nodes to get everything working. Now, I want to fight my way back home, and... Um, Make it daytime. I don't want to fight right now, so I'll be right back, and we'll continue the episode. All right, I've decided to plant a farm next to my ranch to grow things. I don't want to have to run back to the village to get more food anymore, and I was going to make some cotton plants so that I can get some more wool and string, because I need more wool and string for some stormcraft that I want to do. Now I'm realizing now I've got a sheep farm, so I probably have enough wool, and you can put wool in the pulverizer to get string, so I could do that, but I'm already ready to go ahead and make this farm, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll need the food anyway. So I use the filler to fill in this area, so just the fill pattern going all the way over here and there, and then down a couple. So, the next thing I want to do is I made a stone mattock from Tinker's Construct. In the Materials in You Volume 2 book, a mattock is an axe head, a shovel head, and a tool rod. And the mattock is nice because it's a combination axe and shovel and hoe, which makes it a perfect farming tool. We can do all the things we need for farming with this one single tool. So I'm going to go get some water and dig out my farm area, fence it all off, and I'll be back once I've done that, and we'll make some more Thomcraft stuff. Back in a flash. Okay, so I'd like to make some more Thomcraft stuff to help us with crafting. So some of the stuff we can do will increase our V discount. So remember that when we're using the iron capped wooden wand, there's a 110% V cost. If we switch that to the gold banded great wood wand, we end up with a 100% average V cost. So gold is better than iron for V. However, we can also wear some equipment that will help us even further. So, in the Thaumonomicon, we can go get some Goggles of Revealing, and they'll actually help us in other ways as well. But one of the benefits of the Goggles of Revealing is a V discount for when we're crafting. So, I've already solved the research note. Census has Air, which is in Orum. Orum contains Precantatio, which contains Vacuos, which is in Precantatio. Air is in Orum both ways. So there are the Goggles of Revealing. So what do we need to make Goggles of Revealing? We need some leather, some gold, and two thermometers. So I forgot we would need some of those. So let's see here. Thermometers, gold, shards, and glass. So let me go get gold, shards, glass, and leather. Let's see here. Glass. Leather should be in here, I think. No. Leather is in here. I think we only need a four piece of leather, so it should be fine on leather. Alright. Need a goal as well. Alright, check again. Gold, thalmonomicon, the leather, and the two thalmometers, which need shards. So, shards are in my Thomcraft chest. Let's see here. I need to make two of them. Looks like I've got mostly aqua shards. Alright.
you can also use the Arcane Workbench as a general work table, whether or not it requires V, so... Let's see here. How do you make a thumbometer? I forgot already. Ah, gold glass in the middle. And see, no aspects are lighting up here, so we can craft this without any problems. Alright, I've got that, so... Leather, leather, thermometer, thermometer, glass, and gold. Oh, no glass. There we go. And we need 5.5 .5 of each aspect. I Actually, I do have enough in my gold banded wand, so I can change that, and you see it only costs 5, because it's a 100% V cost. So there we go, some Goggles of Revealing. Now, Goggles of Revealing also have other benefits. They let us see things around. So if I run back over here, you'll see that with the Goggles on, I am able to see that node from a distance just as if I were holding up the thermometer. Not... Ah, there it is. So we can see it through here. So if we're running around looking for nodes, it's best to wear your goggles of revealing so I can see them far away. It also acts as armor, but the armor bonus is pretty minor, so I wouldn't treat this as armor, really. I believe it has the same strength and durability as leather. Alright, so now that we have those on, if we were to craft something that required magic, you can now see we have a 95% average V cost. That's because our Goggles of Revealing gives us a 5% V discount. So, that's nice. And there are some other things we can craft that will give us similar benefits. So, those are the Thaumaturge's robes, and leggings, and boots. And you use Enchanted Fabric to get that. So, Enchanted Fabric is a purchased research. There's no note for that. It's just wool surrounded by string. That's why I made my cotton farm. But I decided instead I would just go ahead and macerate up some of the wool, or I guess pulverize some of the wool. And I've done most of that already. I need one more piece. Put the wool in the pulverizer, and you get four pieces of string. So I should have enough wool and string to get all of the pieces. The only question is whether I have enough V. So hopefully with my new found V discount, I'll go back to my iron wand for now. Wool in the middle. String on all sides. Alright, I need 1.05. It would be 110%, or, you know, 1.1, but I've got that 5% V discount from the tool, from the Goggles of Enchanting. Alright, so that got me 16 of those. Let's try this wand. Alright, so we were up to 24. Let's see here, is 24 enough? Feels like it should be enough. Let's see, what's my Thalmanama can say? So, yeah, it's just the armor pattern, so 24 should be plenty. In fact, it's more than I need, so... Alright, I can't do math, whatever. Scan the enchanted fabric before I go on. And I don't know if I have enough air in my wand, though. Oh, I'm pretty good for air over here, so... Should be good on that. So, let me see what gives us the best V discount. I think it's the chest plate. Yeah, the robes give us 2%. 1%, or 2% for the leggings, 1% for the boots. So you'll get a 10% overall discount. Looks like there are different aspects we need, though. I didn't think about that. So air for the chest plate, water, and terra. All right, well, we'll see if we have enough to get everything we're looking for.
Okay. That must have been a inventory tweaks bug because I don't have 24 enchanted fabric. Okay, I did do the math right. Inventory tweaks confused me. So, here we go. Here are some robes. And we have enough fabric left over to make the boots, but not the leggings. So, I do need some more V, some more... Looks like Perdicio is what I'm missing. But, that will get us more discounts on what we need. And so, it's very helpful to use that. So, one more thing I want to do before we go is build a build an armor stand from Bibliocraft. And that just requires some iron, I believe. When you switch armor back and forth, or you wear armor, it's helpful to have an armor stand. Okay, I need stone slabs as well, so three pieces of stone. That's odd. Most little things can can be scanned. All right. Here we go. An armor stand from Bibliocraft. I like the armor stand because it's an easy way to switch back and forth out of different types of equipment. So I'm going to go set this up right here by our Thomcraft workspace. And you can see in the interface, this is what I'm wearing. This is on the armor stand. Switch that out for my helmet. If you have an empty hand, you can shift right click and change your pieces for what's on the stand. So, nothing was on the stand, unfortunately that didn't help me, but you can see now I'm switching that for my iron armor, switching it for my thumbcraft armor. And even if there's no piece there, it'll just trade it for out for nothing. So, I'm wearing no leggings right now, but that's okay, I'll make them off camera for next time and I'll have them and that'll give us a full 10% discount which means our gold banded greatwood wand will end up costing 90% rather than 100%. There are other times you can use V as well and you'll get discounts for those things also so this is a very handy thing to have for Thomcraft. Okay that's a good wrapping up point catch you next time.